It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Friday, the 1st of December. It's the start of meteorological winter. These are the three coolest months of the year for most of us here in the Northern Hemisphere. And you know, it will feel somewhat cool out there today and tomorrow, even a little bit damp today. We had some rain last night and early this morning. There could still be a couple of showers lurking around somewhere. But look out because a warming trend is coming in here for next week and it will feel anything but winter like with highs getting up toward 80 degrees by the middle part of next week. Do we have any more opportunities for rain? Oh, we'll talk about that and everything else as we dive on in. But before we do that, it is Friday. So that means it's photo Friday here. And that's where we take a look at some of the photos and or videos that you guys have submitted. And first up, David Parnell at Dobson High School. Oh, yes, of course, high school sports still ongoing. And uh, so lovely weather for all of that, although did have to dry, dodge some raindrops last night. This is from Ernest down in Yuma. Look at the moon out there. Gets the backdrop of clouds, kind of an interesting photo. Now, this is from Joe in Santan, and he said, you know, he forgot to send his photos last week because he was too busy making turkeys, three turkeys to be exact. You've got, well, you got the oven, you've got the, the fried, and you got the smoked turkey. And, you know, never mind weather photos. I could look at food photos all day. <laughs> I swear we had to turn this into a food channel. Uh, anyway, oh, it looks tasty. I'm getting hungry. All right, he also did send in a weather shot here. This is uh, from, again, Santan. Look at that. This is from last week. Just gorgeous. And Beth, this is from Wednesday night, North Phoenix. Look at that sunset. Gorgeous. And now this is uh, Bo up in White River. Has this picture. And uh, some snow, as a matter of fact. And uh, they had some thunder before this. Some thunderstorms, and then they had some snow. So, yes, it is the season after all. And then this is, we go international here. This is our friend Zane down in Brisbane, Australia. And some strong thunderstorms came through the Brisbane area earlier uh, this week. And uh, he said the damage was minimal, but, boy, made a lot of noise, a lot of rumbling, and just big storms coming on in. And that looks uh, exciting. Of course, they're heading into summer in the land down under. And finally, Clayton made the trip to Washington, D.C. And of course, when you go to Washington, D.C., it is required. It is law. If you go there, you have to take a picture of the Washington Monument or uh, you get uh, sent to prison for 10 years, I believe. That's, that's how it goes. So lovely shot there. Thank you, Clayton. And thank you to everyone for your contributions of course and finally we'll wrap it up with this one from ted in new river that my friends is a gorgeous sunset and we do this every friday photo friday and you want to get your submissions in your photos your videos groff show at gmail.com is the email address that is g-r-o-f-f show at gmail.com for photo friday and, of course, your food uh, pictures as well. We, we want to look at those, too. All right. Let's take a look at the almanac from yesterday. I'm serious about that. I am hungry now after looking at those turkeys. All right. 66 degrees was the afternoon high yesterday. 53 the morning low. And we picked up uh, 607 inch of rain officially in the bucket at Sky Harbor. We had a little bit more than that after midnight. Another 1,207 inch. So that's good. Now, we're still way behind on rainfall, and I don't think we're going to catch up. I, I don't believe we're going to get three inches of rain this month of December. Could it happen? Yes. Has it happened before? Yes. Is it likely to happen this year? Yeah, I don't know about all that. Averages 70 and 48. And as we take a look outside right now here early this afternoon, we do have some clouds out there still. Lots of those fluffy clouds, those cumulus clouds. We're sitting at 63 degrees at Sky Harbor. Nice day, dew point 46, humidity 55%. The winds are light. The barometer is steady. Upper level weather pattern across the nation shows a trough coming through the southwest, and that's what brought the rain last night and early this morning. Most of the rain is wrapped up here over south central Arizona. There might be a sprinkle around someplace, or a northern Maricopa County could see a shower or two, but uh, we're done with it for the most part here in the valley. And that's moving off to the east, but some nice, cool weather in the wake of this system before high pressure does ultimately build in. And it will build in with 
some strength here early next week, and we'll really see it warming up. The watch warning maps still have those winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings, some dense fog advisories, all sorts of stuff here over the uh, western states. Have some flood watches for parts of Hawaii. They've been getting some considerable amounts of rain. Kona storm season down there. Big old Kona low bringing us uh, some heavy rain, uh, especially to the big island. The convective outlook for today, the marginal risk of severe storms along the Gulf Coast. Still a risk of thunder around the four corners as well. And here's the precipitation outlook valid through Friday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, probably nothing more here. Um, again, maybe over northeast Maricopa, we could still see a little bit. And over eastern Arizona. But that's going to be about it for now. And I think we're going to see our rain chances really... Uh, stay pretty close to zero for the next seven days after this evening. We'll talk about why that is right now as we get to the models. Take a look. This is the GFS. It is the 12Z run, and this is valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Huge trough out here in the west. That's brought in the cool and unsettled weather and what it means for us for the rest of the day here at the surface. We'll still have partly cloudy sky, a sprinkle of light shower someplace, maybe mostly north and east of Phoenix, though. High temperatures this afternoon, about where they are now, I'd say mid-60s. Tonight, the skies will start to clear out overnight lows, mainly in the 40s. And then tomorrow, sunny, nice cool day, highs, mid-60s. And that's not far away from where we ought to be for this time of year, maybe just a couple of degrees below average. Now, Saturday night, Sunday morning, nice, cool, dry air, so overnight lows, upper 30s in the cool spots, low to mid 40s for the urban core. The day on Sunday looks nice, though, highs close to 70, and we're going to see that warming trend continue as we go into next week. High pressure building in, sunny sky on Monday, highs likely in the at least the low 70s or so, maybe could even get to the mid 70s. Mid 70s, maybe upper 70s on Tuesday, could be around 80. Might even see a few low 80s popping up here as we go to Wednesday and still in the mid to upper 70s on Thursday with mostly sunny sky. Now, there will be some occasional passing high clouds, but that's going to be about the only sensible weather we'll have all of next week. Now, here we go to a week from today, Friday, the 8th of December. And we got that ridge over the nation's midsection. We've got a trough coming into the western states and a low deepening right there along the west coast. And that's a feature the GFS is latched onto here of late. We've seen that on uh, some of the European runs too. Check it out. This is Saturday the 9th. That low deepening now over the southwest, and uh, that could bring in some cool and unsettled weather if that verifies by next weekend. Look at this. This is the uh, end of the forecast period, Sunday the 10th. And that upper low just sort of lingering around, and that could pull in quite a bit of moisture and some rain. Mountain snow, look at all that big mess there for Texas as well. So Southwest could get quite a soaking if this verifies, but I will tell you, <laughs> forecasting these closed upper lows, these kind of features 10 days out, I guarantee you, I absolutely promise that that forecast, that model run, that we will see many, many different solutions between now and then. Could this still happen? Of course it could, but uh, we'll just have to see. All right, checking out rainfall for Phoenix. This goes out through the 15th of the month, and this is off of the GFS Ensemble. There's quite a few members that show nothing. Others show mainly light precipitation uh, with the Ensemble mean uh, under one quarter of an inch. And then the European Ensemble, again, out through the 15th. And again, not, not overly bullish on precipitation. Obviously, the control member is way up there around three quarters of an inch, but uh, or just under that, but... Uh, for the most part, it looks like mostly light precipitation amounts, if we see any at all. All right, looking at temperatures off the National Blend of Models, here comes that warming trend. And yeah, we could be flirting with 80 degrees next week as uh, you've got your Christmas lights going and your, your uh, inflatables out front and you're doing your Christmas shopping. You'll be sweating. <laughs> and then temperatures trend down a bit as we go uh, further out there. Uh, toward the end of next week, the following weekend. And that could denote the unsettled weather that certainly is possible out there, and we'll watch that trend. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video due back here on Monday morning. Of course, updates before that, if necessary. 
Should you happen to enjoy these videos, then be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. The executive producer in absentia is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation, and she is the proprietor of SweetChildAZ.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona. Talking about my Michelle, so check her out. Thank you guys so much for watching. All of your continued support, it is immensely appreciated. And if you really like what we do here and you want to support us monetarily, you can click on that little thanks icon below the video here on YouTube and make your monetary donations if you're able to, of course. $2, $5, $500, it's all good. Every dollar supports the continuation of this channel. All right. Thanks again so much. And you guys uh, be safe out there. Have yourselves a great Friday and a wonderful weekend.